Hey, Bold Like a Leopard family, this is one of three parts to a two and a half hour interview that I had with John University earlier in February. So please like, share, and subscribe. Also, subscribe to me on BitChute and on Minds.com, as well as subscribe star if you want to donate. All those are at Chef Leopard, and you can find me on Gab at Starscream85. And I'll talk to you later. With, with regards to um, to aid, by the way, you're wrong. If, if military aid, yes, it's a very good idea. All the rest is bullshit. But military aid, yeah. so the United States has a very good grip on world powers, and it has various vectors. You can't concentrate all your power simply on your um, uh, uh, financial might, or right. So, first of all, you have the reserve currency of the world. That's the that's the main handle on the entire world. You also own the trade currency for the most part for most world, <clears throat> and. By hooking countries up on military aid, well, people, first of all, it's, it's basically a way to pump up your own economy in a way, right? It's basically, well, it's, again, it's, it's, it's BS economics, but still, it is. Um, and it's a very, very good way to get nations to do what you want them to do. Um, so... If, if Americans want the United States to stay a world power, uh, don't, don't mess around with military aid to Israel, to Egypt, to whoever. It doesn't matter. Um, well, then it comes to other I think, types of I think of what you're aids. talking about is... <clears throat> I, think, I think you're talking about like a larger, a larger issue. We could probably debate it at yeah. length. I've debated it with a couple friends of mine. Uh, but... It does feed into what we're talking about with the even with the dancing Israelis and um, that happened. The same people who bring up the dancing Israelis, the same people who bring up the USS Liberty, they try to use those as essentially, you know, magic movers. If you you know, pardon the pun, uh, in order to move the goalposts on on the Israeli aid issue. Whereas it's th those you know, if you were to argue honestly, I don't think that those are. Um, those, those actually discredit the point of view that I'm trying to bring about, which is that we can't have a relationship, not just with Israel. I mean, we have the same type of relationship with Turkey. We have the same mm -hmm. type of relationship with, with Pakistan, or we did. We, we've had it with, with um, and, and it's not just the aid, it's also stationing troops in Italy. Uh, Americans, uh, you asked, do they want to remain a world power? A lot of Americans, if you, if you were to travel here and, and, you know, by all means, come, come visit the states come visit. Oh, it's okay. I've, I've been there enough. Yeah. So, right. So, but if you, if you talk to the average person, they could care less if we have, uh, you know, a handle on. Oh what's no, going no, on I, I understand, Guatemala but it's in, no, no, no. I, I understand. We don't but believe in it's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I understand, but they just don't understand the the reason why they are the wealthiest nation in the world is exactly that status. So once the United States loses that, if they still think they're gonna get all the all the booty that they're getting now, no, it won't last. Uh, there's a right, reason. But you're, you're, you're arguing for like like I guess I guess what you're talking about is there are people here, and I've talked. I've I actually hosted one. Uh, our friend uh, Ophir was on the same chat with me. Um, you know, they're called the Groypers. Uh, and yeah. they're part of a subset of of, uh, of of this America First movement, and they they do believe in in more of an isolationist policy than than myself. So they they believe in a much stronger trade restriction, much stronger labor restrictions, things like that. So they're they're part of I guess what you would call the populist right, and in many cases they deviate not just on foreign policy but on ep economics from from you know the people yeah. like like me who you know they call us coke brother shells they call us all, all sorts of things you know i've, I've never taken a dime from yeah. anyone but oh. they want to call I, any what's that i think that the, the foreign aid thing 
it's uh, it's done out of U.S. interests. Uh, it's not so much uh, you know the, that you. Uh, it's it's it's. Uh, I mean, this is what the U.S. government uh, believes that uh, advances the, U.S. interests. Nobody so, nobody's uh, disputing that, but we're we're talking about people don't believe anymore that the U.S. government represents U.S. interests. Yeah. So okay. you're talking you're talking okay, about more. Well, well, yeah, yeah. You're talking about a, deeper, a much deeper I'm, topic. I'm, it goes yeah. it goes all yeah, the way. I'm, 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 I'm familiar with the discussion. I'm, I'm familiar with the Groypers. Uh And uh, look, if if you decide to uh, just uh, drop uh, foreign aid for everyone, Israel will uh, Israel will not be harmed in uh, uh, really uh, seriously because you, you put a lot more money into into our neighbors. <laughs> uh, you give a lot more aid to our neighbors than, than you do to us. Uh, I mean, uh, the, the reason why Israel gets so so much uh, aid. Is that uh, you made after Camp David? You made, you made a deal with Egypt to build mm -hmm. to build the army, and right. uh, because because of that, you and, and you didn't want to, that to put uh, Israel in danger. The the, the, the idea was the, the, that you give more money to Israel to maintain its its uh, strategic. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, advantage. but again, it's it's uh, yeah, the. So it's it's basically okay. So if if someone doesn't know, then so, so I think, uh, I I think, think at this are, point all the aid. To, uh... Uh, no, I'll, I'll just I'll just yeah. make the the last point and then we can end. Um, all the aid that the U.S. gives Israel is supposed to be spent in the U.S. or maybe ninety percent of it or something like that. And I think Trump wants to make it a hundred percent if he didn't already. Uh, so. Mm. But the point is that it's it's like uh, you, you make you, you turn people into addicts. You turn countries into addicts. First of all, oh, you know, we get all these uh, all this stuff for quote unquote free. Obviously, no, it gives the U.S. leverage. But once you have all that U.S. weaponry, if you start deviating too much, well. Uh, you know, the weapons don't last forever. Uh, you need parts, you need ammunition, you need a whole bunch of things. And if the United States decides to suddenly pull the plug, those uh, F-16s won't continue flying on forever. Or, well, yeah, all that. So it doesn't matter. It's not, it's not a biggie. But people need to understand that it's not just uh, handing out free money. And the main beneficiaries obviously other than israelis i mean the main beneficiaries here really are the american people now the american people might not understand it which is fine but the the way i see it uh, no i would I, I would i would say that that your your position on this if you ask the average person they don't it's it's the same thing that you tell people who you know that they voted for Brexit. Well, you don't know the benefits of what you're getting from being in the European Union. Now, of course, I'm not saying that you are arguing that. You know, I'm I'm just bringing it as an analogy. If the people themselves don't see directly the benefit of it, and in many cases they would say that some of the benefits themselves are problems. There's a lot of people who have a deep and abiding um, problem with the defense industry here because they. They blow up the budget here in the U.S. We have a massive mm -hmm. defense budget here, so they don't. They don't trust it. You think you think they're going to trust this line of argument when you're saying, "Well, we bring a lot of business to Lockheed or to uh, Northrop." Uh, they, they, they would not, say that. I'm, they would I'm, say. I'm they would say I'm that that is arguing. actually yeah. that, that that they don't. Let me let me finish this. But because you're talking about a completely different stream of thought, this is a growing portion of the American electorate. Uh, the Iraq war made it much, much worse for mm -hmm. advocating for what you're talking about because people look at it as a cause and effect issue, even if, if in, in many cases it's, you know, exaggerated or, or deliberately misrepresented. So you're, you're talking about a, a major problem, and that's why people became libertarians in, in, the, in the 2000s, because of the duplicity, the lack of transparency, and the corruption that went under President Bush, and I talk to people all the time who say, "Oh, I'm a I'm a conservative Republican. You know, I believe in in uh, looking out for American interests, but you know, you know, they 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 never they they never realize that the Iraq War did not benefit American interests. That whole that whole stream of thought has been really discredited. That's why we have 
have the the government that we have today, the the Trump administration. That's why a lot of the Democrats who back in the it 2000s was, they got elected on on. Uh, it it this, was this by is far a, the a biggest blunder that the U.S. has managed to to get itself into. Uh, people don't understand right, that so, this so is the, actually way worse than the Vietnam that, War in terms of what it, what. The stuff that has happened just because of that stupid fucking dumb move is insane. Uh, I mean, we're going to see repercussions of the Iraq war for at least, at least two decades to come. At least two decades to come. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah. We're, we're, we're getting way, way, way yeah, getting off topic here. Yeah. Um, I'll just, I, will, yeah. I will just say that the, uh, uh, UN, the U.S. foreign aid is an American business. Uh, I, I don't uh, see, I, I don't get involved in it. Uh, because if the Americans decide to stop giving aid to Israel, Israel, will, it's not uh, that big of a deal. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's about... It's about three percent of the Israeli budget. Israel can do without it. When you, when you, if if at the same time you stop also aiding our neighbors, yeah, so, so our, our enemies basically, because you give you put more money into Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, so 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 uh, and uh, uh, so so Israel will not will not be harmed. So so it's not really anything that uh, bothers me. Uh, it's it's yeah. a, it's an American issue. 